Hello kids, welcome to mathematics class. Today we are going to learn subtraction. What is subtraction? Subtraction is taking away objects or numbers from a collection. Let us see this example. There are six flowers. Take away one flower. Five flowers are left. It means six minus one is equal to five. This minus is the sign of subtraction. Let us see subtraction of two digit numbers. Remember first subtract ones and then tens. 29 minus 15. Here first always subtract the digits in ones place. Then tens. We have 9. 9 pencils. Take out 5 from this. And here we have 2 tens. That means 10 and 10. How many tens? 2 tens. Now first we will subtract ones. Here we have 9 pencils. Take out 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. When you take out 5, we get 4. So write 4 in ones place. Next there are 2 tens. Take out 1 ten. We get 1. 1 ten. So 29 minus 15 is equal to 14. Subtraction with regrouping. Let us see what is regrouping. Here 25 minus 18. So first we have to subtract ones. So here we have 5 ones and two tens in tens place. So from 5 take out 8. Now I have 5 pencils. I cannot take out 8 or I cannot give 8. So what I will do? I will go to my friend. My friend is tens. I will take one ten from him. So this ten will come in one's place. That means he will give me 10 pencils. 1 10 is nothing but in one bundle we have 10 pencils. So there are 20 pencils. He gives me 10 pencils that is 1 10 is nothing but 10. So if he gives 10, so 10 plus 5 will become 15. So how many 10s are remaining here? So now here 1 10 is given already. Here 1 10 is remaining. So 10, I had already 5. 5 plus 10 is equal to 15. So I have 15. So what I have to do now? From 15, I can take out 8. Now take out 8 from 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How much is remaining? 7. So, write down 7 in 1 space. Now, 1 minus 1 is 0. When I give, when I take out 1, 1 10, then 1 10 is remaining, 0 is remaining. So, this way we have to solve the problems. Now, here we have 43 minus 29. So, here 3 minus 9, I cannot subtract. So what I have to do? I have to borrow 1 10 from 10's place. 4 10's are there. So 3 10's are remaining. If he gives me 1 10, 3 10's are remaining. So I got 10 plus 3, 13. So now after borrowing the number, it becomes different. So I have to make the changes here. So 3 will become 13 because I borrowed 110. 10 plus 3 is 13. And 
From there, four tens are taken one ten. So three tens are remaining. So thirteen minus nine. So how to do this? We can count from nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It is four. Count from two to three. Nine to thirteen. So three minus two is one. Now let us see this example. Seventy minus forty-seven. So zero minus seven. Some children may get confused here. They may write seven. It is no. It is wrong. We have to. We cannot take out. If I don't have anything, how can I give seven? So here zero minus seven means I cannot subtract. Top we have smaller number. Bottom we have bigger number. So we cannot subtract. That time we have to borrow. So what we have to do? We have there. In my friend is tens. He is having seven tens. He will give me one ten. That means ten plus zero is ten. I'll bring one ten to one's place. Then how many tens are remaining? Six tens are remaining in tens place. Now I can subtract. So ten minus seven. Hold hold from seven. You count till ten. Or hold ten fingers and take out seven. You can do it with both the methods. Now ten minus seven is three, and six minus four is two. So this is the procedure you have to do subtraction with borrowing. We have to be very very careful. The top number is a smaller number, and the bottom number is a greater number. So we cannot subtract. That time we have to borrow. We have to go to tens place and borrow ten. One ten. That means it is ten only. So when you borrow ten, then you have to add that ten to ones place. Then you will have to subtract. And one is less always when you borrow. When you take one, and one is less in tens place. So that should go hand together. So you have to follow the steps and do the sums. Thank you. Okay, we are going 